بسم الله بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله العلماء أهل السنة هذا علماء خير and they help us discern the Sabila Mu'mineen they help us discern the correct path the way of the believers and the need for the scholars is tremendous as we need them to help us discern haq and discern batil to discern truth and to discern falsehood because there are many ways to go astray. There are many du'at ila jahannam, you know, people who call to the hellfire. And there are many forms of bid'ah. And we're in need for those to help us discern what is truly from our deen the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said man yurid allah bihi khairan yufaqahu fi ad-din whenever allah wants good for a person he gives him understanding of the religion the scholars Obviously, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants good for them because they have knowledge of the religion and they have fiqh of the religion and they propagate and give verdicts regarding the religion. So this is why we need them. And it's important to have company with the scholars if possible. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by preserving the scholars preserves the religion. And that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes the life of the ulama then we are at a loss and this is the way one of the ways in which the religion is taken the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said inna allah la yaghbidu al-ilm intiza'in yantazi'uhu min al-nas walakin yaghbidu al-ilm biqab al-ulama fi idha lam yubqi alamin اتخذ الناس رؤوس جهالا فسئلوا فافتوا بغير علم فضلوا واضل واضل and this you'll find in Sunan Ibn Majah 
and it's a Sahih Hadith. The Prophet والسلام, said, Allah will not take away knowledge by removing it from people, meaning from their hearts. Rather, He will take away knowledge by taking away the scholars. Then when there are no scholars left, the people will take the ignorant as their leaders. They will be asked questions and they will issue verdicts without knowledge. Thus, they will go astray and lead others astray. SubhanAllah. Ahabatifillah, we witness this now. Probably more than any other time, and this is because although knowledge is being spread and disseminated and the scholars there are still many scholars left but of course they they are dying out especially the major scholars and we've lost even recently in the past 20 years many many major scholars from Ahl Sunnah we've lost many many mountains of knowledge and those after them are not like them in status in respect and in knowledge and fiqh even though we have great ulama still left but over time we lose ulama through this and through also the new types of technology with the internet and with other ways we have many people who become famous but they have no ilm, they have nothing really to offer and when they are when a question is posed to them they will answer the question about anything this is a first sign that you should be scared if they are not if they never humble themselves and say I will refer you to someone who has more knowledge or I will ask the ulama or I'll ask so and so then know that this is a perhaps dangerous sign and I will give you some examples we have seen in by sitting with the ulama we've seen countless beautiful examples the best example I can think of personally is Imam Sheikh Abdul Masin Al-Abad in the Haram in Medina because he's a great alam he's a muhaddith he is he needs he doesn't require praise as he is well known to Ahl Sunnah and I've heard this great Imam being asked in the study of Sunan Tirmidhi uh, uh, an issue a basic what seemed to me was a basic issue and I thought I knew the answer perhaps the answer was correct but to hear that Imam from his humbleness which I'm sure he knew and had a view about it to just sit looking down and say Allahu Akbar in front of perhaps a thousand students in the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's masjid that's tarbiyah that is Islamic education and manners which we can benefit and you only benefit from these kind of lessons from the ulama, from the scholars, and sitting in their presence. To see a great imam like that, to say Allah knows best, he could have easily answered it. I'm sure that he's, he had the correct verdict, because it was not what seemed to be a complex question. Even I thought I was correct. I was like, oh okay, yeah, we know that. We studied this, khalas, that's the most correct answer. He said, Allahu Akbar, from humility. And this is what it requires. So, therefore, be cautious who you take your knowledge from. As Imam Ibn Sirin mentioned, in al ilm al din filyandur amma Verily, knowledge is the religion. So look to those you take your knowledge from. And 
that's a profound statement of the Salaf al Salih. Showing us the importance of knowledge, the importance of who we take our knowledge from. And it shows us a type of humility. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and protect us from being of those who are misguided and who misguide. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya na Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.